دیجیتال خویدیم. It is also known as a data hoarding. It is the reluctance to get rid of digital data that no longer holds value to us. This might be because that data is unused or even unusable. It is also sometimes called as e hoarding or cyber hoarding. And it can be happen it can happen to anybody with digital storage capacities ever increasing. It can feel like we have rooms to hold on to an excessive amount of digital content, but in doing so, we run the risk of developing unhealthy attachment to it. Much like our, how our drawers of USB uh, flash drives, piles of CDs, or boxes of camera films did, did not accumulate overnight, neither does our digital clutter. It, it can come in these physical forms, but digital clutter is primarily visual. For instance, one survey said, said that the average human has 83 bookmarks, 7 open tabs in the process, 7 unread emails, 13 unused phone, phone apps, 582 saved cell phone pictures, 2 unused or broken cell phones, 20 desktop icons, 209 gigabyte of cloud storage, 654 gigabyte of external storage, 4 external hard drives. Digital files, folders, music, movies, computer programs, and even the friends who keep on social media are also forms of digital clutter. The types of digital hoarders. The first one, the anxious hoarder. It does not like to get rid of the digital clutter. As the moniker indicates to the anxious digital hoarder, throwing something away stirs up waves of anxiety. Okay. After all, what if the if that document they haven't opened in a decade becomes important in the future? Instead, they keep mostly everything because it gives them Comfort to know they have them just in case. The second one is a compliant hoarder. It is a data hoarder by choice. It is often workplace protocols or organization structure that make them hold onto things. Usually, compliant digital hoarders receive no emotional attachment to the digital clutter they keep. Still, by being compliant with data hoarding, they are also being compliant with the negative consequence of digital hoarding. Disengage hoarder Simply doesn't know what to do with all of their digital clutter. They are not very organized in the first place and it feels too much of a headache to tidy up their digital life. Okay. It takes less time to keep something than toss it. Some might consider disengaged hoarders lazy but they see no harm in it. Okay. The collector. The collector might not even be a digital hoarder at all. That because simply similarly to a physical hoarding, there is, there is a difference between a hoarding and collecting. Collectors definitely have a lot of digital content, but they have a dedicated and organized place in cyberspace for all of it. They are systematic about how they categorize and most importantly, they have a reason for hanging on to all, all, on to all of it. The disadvantage of digital hoarding. First, is it slows down your devices. There are various reasons why we amass digital clutter. You know? But the downsides of digital hoarding are the same for individuals, companies, and the planet. The more data you ha you, your hard drive has to manage, the harder it is to work and therefore could slow down our devices. This in turn makes us less productive. Second, high cybersecurity risk or high tech cybersecurity risk. The more data we kept, the more it's susceptible it is in the event of a cybersecurity incident. Consider how much damage 
a cyber criminal could do with 10 files versus 100 files. Chances are the more the more digital content you keep, the more sensitive information it contains. In addition, there are more content the more content you put at risk, the more effort it is required to manage those risks. Third, lowest productivity. Digital hoarding can come easy because the internet and its algorithm make it easier for us to find things. What we need to do is punch what we want into a search bar. But it's not this easy to locate all of our digital data. Consider that your photo you took that one time at the one place that you have been scrolling through your phone to find for 10 minutes. Sifting, sifting through cluster is unproductive and what is comes to the workplace a waste of time. For this reason, we also try to keep our digital lives organized. Induces stress. The more data you have, the more, the more you need to control it. And if you are disorganized, chances are you will lose that control fast. When situations feel unmanageable, this can induce stress which in turn negatively affects our well-being. Do as Maya Kondos, Marie Kondos does and hang on to what's important and what spikes joy. It impacts the environment. Our data is physically stored somewhere and the somewhere is on servers and it takes a lot of energy to power them. What study estimated that our devices and servers that support them account for nearly 4% of global greenhouse gases emissions. Worse yet, that number is estimated to double by 2025. No matter how, how you view your digital footprint, no, they do impact our carbon ones.